And the Nigerian Labour Congress has cautioned the National Assembly leadership against resurrecting or passing the Water Resources Bill into law because of the danger it portends to national unity. The Congress said the National Assembly should not ambush Nigerians by bringing back the bill, which seeks to vest the control of all water sources across the country to the President. Lending his voice to the national resistance of the bill, the NLC President Ayuba Waba noted that the bill was earlier rejected in 2018 with good reasons. Waba, in a statement in Abuja on Monday titled, Do Not Ambush Nigerians, warned against legislative abuse or betrayal of Nigerians as this is what it will amount to if the bill is passed or caused to be passed without public engagement and scrutiny. Already, the sentiments expressed against the bill are too grave to be brushed off. A playwright and social critic, Professor Wale Shoinka, and organizations such as Afeni Ferris, Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum, the Oanez Ndigbo, and the Middle Belt Forum had on Thursday won the federal government and the National Assembly against bringing back the bill. And uh, joining us uh, to discuss this is uh, Mr. Wilson. Thank you so much for joining us. States must continue to me. extend their support to the you're welcome. I'm, I'm going to quickly start with um, the controversy surrounding the bill. It has generated a lot, but let's quickly look at the environmental side of the bill. Um, do boreholes pose a challenge, especially with the recent tremor uh, that was experienced in Abuja, the federal capital territory? Yeah, definitely. Um, indiscriminate um, drilling of boreholes definitely um, affects the environment negatively as um, the constant drilling and drilling of boreholes within a particular region it co um, contributes to high level of vibrations that could lead to um, tremor and earthquakes, as some may, may say about it. And um, this, this, this bill definitely, um, for me, I feel it has, it has a positive and negative side of it. But while you're introducing a bill but not um, bring, providing a good solution to the Nigerian people, everybody would be suspicious of the bill. Um, as of 2018, I read a report where they said over 110,000 boreholes have been drilled in Abuja. Definitely, it would, it would lead, to, lead to high level of vibration and consequently the tremor we um, faced um, in, in past years in, and the recent one in January. No, okay, all right. Um, also, I'm going to also quickly add this, that in developed countries, government does regulate water. So why is everyone suspicious about this particular bill? You know, in Nigeria, what we usually faced is um, we are we usually faced with policies that are not um, properly um, explained to the Nigerian people. Um, we have laws that don't actually conform with what um, the Nigerian people would say satisfactory. Um, post policies like these are not um, adopted or adapted from the grassroots. They are just formulated from up there. And Nigerians usually perceive policies as um, things that, that is there to favor the rich. And policies that uh, concerns Nigerian people. Let, let's take, for instance, okay, let's, let me not use other policies. Let me use the, the not too young to run uh, bill, for instance. It took over, what, 10 years for the policy to, to be passed. But policies that concern the Nigerian people, this, this policy, this bill was kicked off, kicked out by the Eighth Assembly um, in 2018. And I mean, resurrecting it in 2020 without even properly consulting the Nigerian people, without putting consideration of how it affects the Nigerian people, it's, it's, it's not. Um, it's not a good one. We agree that um, um, developed countries are, are, are have these bills in place, they have these laws in place, and it's working for them is because they have a system that is actually providing for its people. For Nigeria, we don't have access to safe water. I work with WaterWide, and we um, we try to ensure that people have access to safe water. We go to communities, and people in these communities have zero access to safe water. If Nigeria wants to regulate. Uh, and monitor water both on the ground and um, over, over um, on, on above. They should have ad adequate um, water supply. I mean, we're celebrating um, 10 years of water being uh, a, water, um, a human right, and people in communities don't have access to save water. So people would definitely frown at this bill. You're telling them to, um, like to, to pay for licensing before they have access to, to drill bubbles, and um, consequently, um, renewal of their license. This bill does not capture, it, it, it gives a room for the agency to give any amount they want as, as, as licensing fee. We don't know about all these things. We, uh, we usually uh, welcome bills in Nigeria without knowing its um, advanced, advanced um, effects. 
So for now, Nigerian people are conscious about all these things. While we know it has um, environmental um, challenges and effects, effects, we should also, the government should also put in place measures and policies that would ensure that every Nigerian has access to safe water, regardless of any location, regardless of location that you are, whether you are in the urban center, the suburban, or marginalized and rural communities in Nigeria. So I believe Nigerians are, 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 right. are constantly engaging in governance. That's why we won't allow any type of bill to just to just pass without properly scrutinizing it. All right. So some, some people have also mentioned and you know that they feel it's a bid to reintroduce the Ruga bill. What, what are your thoughts on that? While, while I would not want to um, possibly dive into the Ruga bill, but um, as I mentioned, I rightfully mentioned earlier, Nigeria has a way of um, introducing bills without proper um, explanation or documentation that we the, that the Nigerian people would understand what it fully means. Um, in thinking thinking about the Ruga bill and 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 the Nigerian Nigeria trying to con the federal government, not just Nigeria, the federal government trying to control all waters and at all region. I mean, it is it is it is anti uh, federalism. I mean, every state government, local government, and the Nigerian person should have access to um, using safe water. You're telling them that they want to divert water to their farms, they need permissions, and uh, they want to fetch water, they want to drill boreholes, they need permission. I mean, it's, it, it's, not, it's not it for the Nigerian person. And for me personally, as Wilson, I would not recommend that this bill should pass. All right, thank you very much, uh, Wilson from Waterwide. Thank you for speaking with us. Uh, looking forward to having another conversation with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me.